Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Dorian. Just a quick little update now. I'm on day five of using Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. I installed it Friday, the day after it came out. I didn't get a chance to catch it on Thursday. And I did a video, what to do after installing Linux, where I covered going from scratch till what I get where I am now. I'm basically still using the same setup as what I was using uh, at the end of this video. Well, I, I obviously added more software and whatnot, and I'm making it my soon to be permanent home because things are working how they're supposed to. So I'm happy with that. But one thing at the beginning of that video, uh, I covered boot issues. I did have to do my ACPI boot trick. And if you're not sure what that is, it is in Grub. On the video, I covered this. I had to add this here to my boot and check out the other video. I'll put a link in the description here. Anyways, everything's running fine. Everything's running smooth. I haven't had any updates. I thought I was gonna have a torrent of updates coming down after it was installed, but it's been all quiet on the home front so far. I guess that means everything's good haven't had any major issues. I've even installed my NVIDIA driver, no problem. I had to do one quick thing to fix the NVIDIA screen sharing issues, which a lot of people get because the old tricks don't work in 18.04. I just have a quick little look here. It was basically this. I don't know if you can make this out. How do I make this bigger? Options, NVIDIA underscore DRM, mode set equals one. Where previously I had to put 390, you had to put your version. You don't do that anymore. You just do this and then save it, do an init RAM update dash U, and then carry on. And then boom, screen tearing has gone. I got everything working like before. I actually got quite a few things working really well. Photoshop through Play on Linux works fine. I'm also tinkering with voice meter, voice meter. You know what? I shouldn't have started that. Let me just close that. Okay. That would have actually interfered with my audio, which is bad. This is the reason why it's doing this is because I'm using dual monitors and it, wine doesn't like it. So anyways, yeah, I installed some things through play on Linux, which is awesome does everything for you in the background for wine in case you haven't touched that. And so I can get my Photoshop on again. I haven't used Photoshop in a very long time. I've been using GIMP and I pulled out my old license and decided ah, I'm gonna try and get Photoshop working on this because it does a good job. GIMP does a really good job too, but I paid for Photoshop, so I'm gonna use it if I can. My OBS Open Broadcast works awesome. And in fact, it has a couple of things that didn't work before. So like for the encoder, now it does, now it accepts hardware encoding. I can't change it now because it's actually recording. But before it was only software was my only choices. Now I can do hardware. So that works awesome. KDN Live, the new version, which I no longer have to run in a app image, which I had to do before because I couldn't get the new version. It works fantastic now it's not crashy at all and it's just awesome works really really well it looks a lot nicer too a little more polished so now my next thing is going to be uh, i have my drives here this is my drive with most of my linux stuff this is my ubuntu 16.04 which is 250 gigs this is my Ubuntu 18.04, which is only 50 gigs, because I was like, ah, give it a shot. And yeah, eventually I'm gonna have to get rid of this, make this bigger. This is not gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to rearrange, do some housekeeping, transfer a bunch of files, but in the end, it'll totally be worth it. So far, huge thumbs up for 18.04. Uh, before when I was complaining about the tweak tools, I'm sure everyone's aware now with the comments. If you read the comments and you read the pinned comment that I put and the comments in the video, the issue was 
on a live ISO, you cannot install Tweak Tools. For whatever reason, they use a different repo for the live ISO than they do for an actual installed distro. Yes, Tweak Tools works. Yes, you could change all your settings. Obviously, I did. Extensions all work great. Awesome. There's really nothing for me to complain about. 18.04 LTS. So, and you can see my graphics are working. GTX 960M. That's my little update. I'm happy with everything that is going on so far. It's got the, the new LibreOffice, which is awesome. And Firefox Quantum latest version, which is awesome, which I had before, but you know, do a fresh install and that's already there. Oh, my LibreOffice opened. The other window, that's why I can see it. Little five day update, I'm trying to reach over my microphone here. It is using kernel 4.15.0-20 generic. This changed a couple of times right before the LTS release. Actually, I think when it came out, it was 19 and now it's 20. I don't recall. That's my update, guys. I would definitely recommend that you at least run it in a virtual machine or do the dual boot. I will, however, say, if you guys follow me on Twitter, I gave a warning. It was very recently, right here. Two of my machines, I ended up getting this screen. This was when I booted the ISO when it came to the part partitioning portion. I said install alongside so that it would automatically do things for you in the background. It rebooted and this is what it booted into. I didn't get anything but this. So at this screen, of course, I tweeted in the reply to myself that I just typed in FSEK, EXT4, blah, blah, blah to fix all the errors, said yes, yes, yes to all the errors, and then I rebooted and it worked. Fair warning, there's something with Ubiquity that it messes up. This happened on two machines. The only thing that is in common with the two machines is they use crucial SSD drives, but I also have other, other machines with crucial SSD drives because I bought a whole bunch all at once. So. I don't know if it has to do with that or anything else, but that's the only thing that I could find in common between the, the two machines. And in fact, one was an Intel and one was an AMD. Five days in, I'm actually going to wait a little bit longer because I'm still a little paranoid about getting rid of my 16.04. It works, Steam works perfect. My only complaint at first was I, I could not figure out how to get rid of that screen tearing, but that's an NVIDIA problem. So if you have your screen tearing problem, go and make that file that I just showed you earlier. Just make that file and save it in that folder and you're good to go. I think I, I made a video on fixing NVIDIA before, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, update done. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time.